But honestly, I like the texting. I like texting and phone calls better. I like, honestly, the idea of video chatting with a stranger, like, <sighs> makes me want to throw up in my mouth. And like, not because nervous or anything. It's just like, it just sounds awful. <laughs> like, anybody else? Maybe it's just me. Hello, welcome back to my channel. And we're still talking about online dating. This is part two of the online dating, um, whatever. There's all the other red flags when you're swiping, if checked off for you, and you are ready to start messaging that person, kind of getting to know them through text message. You know, LOLs and wiki files, smiley faces and stuff. And that's super awesome. And we're, today I'm gonna be talking about their kind of Arctic green flags when messaging someone. Some of the things that, uh, that stick out to me when I'm going online. And again, I want to reiterate the difference between prejudice and discernment. Prejudice is about what you think, discernment is asking what is true. Okay, and that's just making a deep dive and getting more information before you make a overarching decision about somebody. Oh, and it's writing them off like everyone, everyone that does this is that person. No, everyone that you're not attracted to that does it. <laughs> That's who you write off. Okay. Anyway, so let's start. For what so first red flag that I see. The first thing that kind of is a red flag to me, which I kind of went over before, is when you're talking about faith with the person that you want to date or you're considering dating, and you were talking about faith and they mention, okay, I'm trying to get closer to God. Okay. First of all, that is a beautiful thing. If you're trying to get closer to God, congratulations. That's the best thing to do for your life. It's awesome. <laughs> You know, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Luce says five stars, you know. I'm just gonna say that this is an independent relationship because you know, we die separately, <laughs> you know, keep it real here. So you wanna make sure you get that done first and then you can dive into dating because when you wrap your faith around another person, when that stuff unravels, your faith might unravel with it. So you wanna make sure that's pretty strong and, um, you know, solid. So that's the first thing I, uh, you know, first thing I noticed during the messaging process if someone's like hey i'm just really trying to get closer to god i love these talk, talk about your faith blah 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 and also a caveat to that please for love of god the love of your sanity have those faith conversations in person i don't care if it's over the phone i don't care if it's over the bleh, video conference call just have that, that conversation in person because you know there's a difference between oh yeah like i am so serious about my faith i love god then yeah, I'm so serious about my faith. I love God. <laughs> you know, you want to make sure that you can see some, you know, the genuine, you know, what is it? There's a percentage about something like most of the things that we say, you know, with our words, like tone and body language and facial expression, those things do play a part in communications. You know, doing your due diligence because it's one thing if someone deceives you and you're face to face and like, oh yes, I love God, my faith is so important to me. Then like you did your due diligence. If they're just a liar, then they're just a liar. That's really not on you. But if you're texting someone and text messages are without tone and without kind of substance and they pause for three and a half days before they've answered you you know that, that makes a difference i'll just say that makes a difference a huge difference so consider that have those conversations in person okay second thing <sighs> cussing let me tell you bleep 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 and i'm like i'm like oh okay you know maybe they're just nervous i'm gonna tell you right now we are everyone is usually on their best behavior when they're dating when they're online dating, people on their best behavior. So when you're messaging someone or talking to them on the phone or video chat or whatever, ugh, video chat, like if you're talking to them, most likely that's just how they're talking. Cause that's them on their best behavior. Every other word is a cuss word. That's not good. So always consider that, that your ear should go like up a little bit whenever you hear cuss words, at least as a, at least as a, um, an indication of who they're hanging around, who who's influencing them, or what music is influencing them, what they're listening to, because um, that does matter. It really does. The third thing I look out for, which is probably one of the most uncomfortable things, is sexual innuendos. So sexual innuendos is just like you know. <laughs> I bet you do like it up top. <laughs> Just look out for those sexual innu innuendos, okay? Especially, especially early on um, in, date, in the dating process. So just, you know, keep those ears up. And that's what I would look out for. And here's a pro tip. 
<laughs> I'm sad that I have this, but here's a pro tip from your girl Luce about how to kind of get out of those sexual innuendo cases because they can be super uncomfortable. So, because one of the things I love to do the most is changing the subject, usually because I've forgotten what we've talked about because of ADHD, you know. <laughs> so I like to change the subject. And so usually this is what I do. I'll say, you know what I've always wondered? And that does it. I'll just, you just, you know. If you, someone says, ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> doggy style, <laughs> and you're just like, oh, you know what I've always wondered? And then you've changed the subject. Just, you know, I can't give you what to say. I don't know. You know, I've always wondered, I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, it doesn't really matter, but you can change the subject that way. And that's from me to you. Okay, so fourth and a, a final thing. Probably the most important thing kind of follows with this for number three. Fourth and final thing to look out for when you're messaging or talking to someone and you're dating, like thinking about dating them, look out for the sex talk. The discussion about, hey, how do you feel about premarital sex? Or what are your physical boundaries that you have? Okay, have that discussion in person. And if you can't have that discussion in person, person who brings it up usually the person who who it means the most to who has probably sets the boundaries that the standards for that conversation that person you wait for an answer you bring it up you wait for an answer because sometimes what happened to me was I'd be like hey so what are your physical boundaries like what do you believe in and they'd be like oh what are yours and I'm like no <laughs> we don't do that what are yours it's like really open like I'm just, I'm just listening just considering. But really, of course, you are paying attention and seeing what they say. And and that matters and why it's important to them and if they've thought about it before you've asked. If someone has thought about this before you've asked, they'll have it ready. They'll probably have scripture or whatever they have of their standard of why they've chosen to either wait or not wait. Don't judge me too hard. I'm telling you this is from my experience, okay? So I've experienced when someone has, though someone like says they love Jesus. A guy says they love Jesus. My ears go up automatically because I've met too many guys who say they love Jesus and they love sex a little bit more than Jesus and foreplay a little bit more than they love Jesus. And so eventually I break up with them. And um, yeah, so it's just not cool. It's not you don't want to be in that position, you know, to have to deal with that and that temptation and stuff. So and by, you know, physical boundaries, I'm talking about like everything, like foreplay, kissing, hugging, and 4B. If you give your answer, listen for the answer. Like if you're okay with it, I'm okay with it. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> like, oh yeah, okay, cool. You're so supportive. Like, no, no. Or she's so supportive. No, she's not supportive. Don't believe it, okay? It's like, if they don't have that standard, what you just have to like what be have a weak moment they just have to look really good one day or you have to be like drunk or been have been drinking or whatever and then all of a sudden your guard's down and then it's a slippery slippery side into you know a physical relationship you know so just be careful of that if your standard is not their standard boop, or it should go up um and just because i've been there and, so, and that's so important. Like I've been on the different pages, like, hey, what's, what's, you know, what's sex to you? Like, yeah, well, it's everything but, you know, and like every, everything but sexual intercourse. Like, yeah, I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. So, so nice meeting you, <laughs> the nicest, you know? So we have to like make sure those standards are the same. Okay. All right. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. <laughs> Online dating. Ah. Yeah. It's kind of the worst right now. And I'm in it, right? Because, like, I mean, I took a year off kind of involuntarily, but voluntarily to um, kind of heal my previous wounds from my previous relationship. And um, I feel all better now, though. Believe me, I'm not crying inside anymore. And so now I am um, ready to dive back into that. But, you know, from my previous relationship and my online dating experience, like, dude, I, I learned a lot because I was really open at first, really open, but like, oh, maybe super naive, super naive, like in the worst way. I learned so much and I want to go ahead and like share that knowledge because I think it's going to be helpful and I feel like it's an act of service just like so you won't get hurt as 
as bad as I did. So I said red flags, but I like green flags because that's, you know, that's my aesthetic right now for my, for my Chanel. 